ladies and germs. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Dilettante Ball. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilettante Ball, we go on Wikipedia. We click random article. And we talk about it. Yeah, we do. But first... We're going to talk about something else. The GDBQR 2014, that's the great Dilettante Ball quarter race 2014. 2014. That's where me and Johnny try to collect all the 50 state quarters. 56? Something like that. We're never going to actually the find out. The state quarters, not the national parks quarters. Yeah, th- oh, fuck the national parks quarters. Here, Johnny, I got two more quarters for you this week. How many do you have? None. Perfect. Let's start off with Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, oh. this looks good. I like this one. This First of all, it has the outline of Pennsylvania. Uh, it's a trend. And, and, a, and a Philly cheesesteak. It is a giant Oh, probably Philly the Liberty che- Bell. Y- 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 no, it's not. It's not the Liberty Bell. It does say virtue, liberty, independence, and uh, some sort of woman. It's a woman holding a... Philly cheesesteak. She's holding a Philly cheesesteak. She's holding a staff with an eagle on top. I don't know who she is or what she represents, but she's there. Maybe she's Lady Liberty. Maybe that's what Liberty Wrong looks like. State. What is that? It's a, is that like a caduceus? I, that's what I thought it was too, but it doesn't have snakes on it. Weird. And, yeah, I don't know. Why are you looking at what is that? What is that other little thing inside of the... I just I just glossed over it. It looks like the interstate symbol. Weird. Like Pennsylvania is the home of the interstate or something. Hmm. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Maybe yeah. it's a key. Maybe that's the bell. Who knows? The next state I have is South Carolina. Also has an outline of the state in its background. Oh, got to have, gotta have the palm tree. Yeah, it's got the palm tree with a little star next to it. First of all, everyone from South Carolina they fucking, loves South Carolina. Well, they, I don't even know if they love South Carolina. They just love that fucking palm they tree. They love that palm tree. Yeah. Fuck. It's really crazy. It's really crazy. Um, I, I mean, everyone in Chicago loves the Chicago flag, So I, but you don't see it everywhere. Like, No. And you want to go to Arkansas and see it plastered on your car. And also, like, the Chicago flag's dope, and that's just a stupid fucking palm tree and a moon. <laughs> yeah, 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 for real. Because no... the Chicago flag is so simple. Right. It, but it's it, laden with symbolism if you know where to look. But but, but that, the palm trees love, for our, the palm tree represents the palm trees because we love yeah. them so much, and the moon is the moon because we love sitting outside under <laughs> the palm trees and looking at the moon. Have some lemonade. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Uh, and besides the palm tree, there was a, a little a songbird. I couldn't tell you what kind of songbird it is. I don't even know if it's a songbird. I'm gonna say it's a thrush. It's a I, it's a palmetto state. Is what it says. Hmm. A palmetto state with a thrush. I'm just making that up. I don't know if that's a. So then maybe it's a palmetto tree and not a palm tree. Is a palm tree a palmetto tree? Was well, a palmetto bug a roach? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a thrush for sure. <laughs> you brought out your jeweler's loop and you're <laughs> examining this uh, this bird. All right. You, you want, ready? Let's get a crack of lacking. Do you ever say that? Nope. <laughs> Sounds fucking dumb. You don't remember that from like no 2000, 2001. What we got? Your eyeballs went wide. I mean, I'll try. Oh, boy, I'm going to butcher this name. <laughs> Alvin? <laughs> so, so be any. Kielskowski. Okay, so it's Polish. Pierwiz. <laughs> yeah. We've got uh, quite a few Polish places. Is that so? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. Um, It's a village in Otwok County. Gmina Sobini Jizwiari. Population is near 200. Look, the... it's near 200. We can't be bothered. <laughs> we just know that there's 200 Two, four, library cards. Six, eight. <laughs> 200 <laughs> library cards have been issued in the past 40 right. years. <laughs> uh, the, in the village is Voivoda Ship Road, oh. 801. Oh, fancy. It lies approximately three kilometers, two miles <laughs> southeast of Sobieni Jeziori. Uh, how much do you want to bet that's the only road in the whole city? I mean, probably. 23 kilometers, 14 miles, south of Atwak, and 41 kilometers, 25 miles, southeast of Warsaw. I've heard oh, of that place. Yeah. From 1975 to 1998, this village was in Seidelus Voidvas ship. <laughs> what you, I like, you know what I like about our podcast is that we learn so much every week. Yeah, like, oh, do you know... Do you know what village the uh, <clears throat> the uh, Voivodeship Road 801 runs through? Uh, you know, it's funny. I was just here getting my sugar for this this coffee, but you know what? I actually, do stranger. It's uh, let's have a Oh, you Am know I pronouncing that right? I think so. Uh, is that the is, <laughs> is that the village in Antwalk with the population near two hundred? It's near two hundred. Yeah, it's funny. Funny fact. Uh, <laughs> they think it's two hundred. They're not really sure. It's based on the amount of library cards they've issued. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, enjoy your chai latte. Thank you. Uh, skateboard off. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't like. I don't really like chai lattes. I don't even know what that is. I just said it. 
Like, do you want me to you tell know what, you? You don't want me. You, you want, I bet I know the type of person who buys them. Assholes. Yes. And you know why I know that? Here's why. Today I saw a picture of a, a woman's, uh, not the new Beetle, but the old new Beetle. Sure. The one came around 2000, maybe. Sure. And she had put, like, eyelashes on its on the headlights. Okay. So making it look very feminine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the personalized license plate she had said Chai Latte. Yeah, so they say C-H-A-I-L-A-T, chai latte. Chai late. Chai late, right. So I was like, oh, okay, that's the kind of person who buys those. Like, look. That's the worst vanity plate. Yeah, yeah. Well, for the oh. worst human being, I'm sure. Probably had her yoga mat in the back and, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll tell My you. My baby Bjorn doesn't really fit because the trunk's not big enough, so you got to have two beetles. <laughs> I tell one. Yeah, I tell one. <laughs> Do you want to tell you what's in a chai latte? Please. Chai? Chai. Do you and know what chai is? It's some kind of Indian herb and no, spice no. and or I mean, spice. Well, you're getting there. Okay. I believe chai. It's a secret blend. I believe chai is Indian for tea. What did I say? Indian? Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. Great. So when people say chai tea, that's really funny. And latte, I believe, is just Italian for milk. Yes. So they're just saying milk tea in two different languages. Yes, I guess. But I, uh, a latte is generally oh, understood, means something. understood to be a, some beverage with steamed milk. I see. Oh, uh, you have a Pepsi latte? Uh, uh, on like, Laverne and Shirley. Oh, that was Squiggy's... Uh, no, Laverne. That was Laverne. She, she drink milk and Pepsi. There you go. It's a Pepsi latte. We just cracked that code. An iced Pepsi latte. <laughs> okay. That's on top of everything. Put it's ice into it's it. black tea with spices, okay. basically. Black tea with spices. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't really drink tea. I'm not a tea drinker. I know you are. You know like all about tea. I like tea a lot. I'll tell you this. When, when, when I worked in the tea biz... When, oh, 15, 20 years? It's a long time. Yeah. I, know, I know you got your gold watch when you retired. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there are no numbers. It just says tea time. <laughs> 12 times around the <laughs> face of it. Uh, but they, but Sorry. the order got fucked up, and it's uh, the instead of like an arrow on the end of each hand, it's a golf ball, and tea is spelled T-E-E. Oh, wow. They got, they got us mixed up with the... Uh, the right, right, the golfers. Yeah. Imagine the the chagrin... When the golfer, like, you know, hey, Phil Mickelson, yeah, you've, that's a golfer. Yeah. <laughs> Arnold Palmer. Right. Daddy uh, Warbucks. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the, all the famous golfers, Arnold Palmer, Diet Lemon Tea. Uh, Roy Rogers, <laughs> Shirley Temple. <laughs> Snapple Apple. <laughs> Pepsi Latte. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Phil Mick- Phil Mickelson mm-hmm. uh, is definitely a golfer. Okay, good. Is the bear the golden bear? I couldn't tell you. Dorf definitely went golfing once. Who's Dorf? You know, I know we've talked about Dorf on the podcast. It's. I'll show you. I'll put up a okay, link. Good. It's. It's. I forget. I forget the dude's name. Some comedian. Sure. From back in the day, Con Con Tim Conway. Okay. Tim Conway, uh, it plays this character Dorf. Who's like you did just mention a, this? A, he's like a, a, a foreigner, maybe? No, no, no. He's like a. It's just Tim Conway standing on on his knees with shoes under his knees. Yeah, and and he's that. maybe foreign as well. He maybe well, of has course like a that's, crazy that's, that's, that's what's funny. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I got this new character I've been working on. It's uh, uh you got five mid- minutes. Midget that ain't from around here. All right, I like the concept. The name's gonna have to change though. How about Spork? No. <laughs> Uh, I've got it. Dorf. Perfect. It stands for. Oh yeah, was. It? <laughs> uh, diminutive. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> D- diminutive. Outsider. <laughs> really foreign. <laughs> All right. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a season to work it out. <laughs> so there was, and I remember them selling this video on TV, and it was like. Oh, Dorf, go- Dorf goes golfing, and uh, Dorf goes fishing. Dorf scared stupid. Uh, Dorf goes to jail. Dorf saves, saves Christmas. <laughs> right, right. It's pretty... Pretty awesome. Yeah. Pretty formative in your child years. Yeah, that uh. commercial. Do you... I'm sure you've seen this. There's a infomercial. I don't know if it's still around. It probably is. It's probably been around for the last 30 years. And it's uh, Ronco. It's a Ronco. Ronco Peel. Ronco Peel. Yeah. And he sells uh, his collection of knives. Sure. It's awesome. And for like half an hour of this commercial, he's like, 
you know what? I've said enough. I want my my awesome cousin, you know, Frankie. To, and it's just like, there's always, like, hey, so I'm wheeling and dealing. He's like a really like a funny, actually like a kind of a funny guy. I don't and think just, I've ever seen that. I've only seen him include the knives with like his his food dehydrator right, or, sure. his, or his Showtime rotisserie barbecue. Thank you. Yeah. But no, just it was just, it's like an hour and a half commercial. And he, so he starts off, he's like, you know what? We need, we need an, an awesome knife or whatever. And he's like, here's the knife. And then it shows like a like an overhead shot of like a cutting board. Sort of like, I feel like it's, um, you know how you'll see uh, in movies or whatever, some uh, a man will have his tools uh, on like a cork board and there's like an outline of the tools. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. So like fuck. he shows, he shows this image and it's like, oh fuck, there's one knife on this board, but he's going to show us 30. And he just gets so excited for the rest of this, you know. I, I've seen another infomercial. I don't believe they're the Ronco knives, okay. but it's a different set of knives. And I don't remember any it's of like them. like Samurai Chef knives or something. Except for one that was called the Adirondack. <laughs> that was the name of the knife. Were they all named like that? I don't even. I don't They're remember. All named for beautiful national parks. But it, it was the Adirondack, and I was like, "Fuck!" I need that. I'm gonna get an Adirondack chair. <laughs> whittle something. And whittle a, something with my Adirondack knife. Yeah, sitting in the Adir- Adirondacks. That's awesome. And then this might, I believe, the one. This other knife is a Chef Tony knife. Oh. And it's a it's a like a chopping knife. Sure. But it has a little ball. Yeah, on, like on where the, the blade, where the handle where meets the blade. Where you're supposed to hold yeah. how you're supposed to hold a chopping like knife. Like a real chef does. But it, so it has a little ball there, so it's like this is where you hold it. Yeah. Yeah. I remember those for sure. Man. Did was also maybe the knife like sort of rounded, so you get like some like yeah. I think so. Man, I get some torque. And on it. and it had it was aerated so that stuff didn't stick to it. There were yes. like little slats on little the side. Little grooves, yeah. Like a sword would have to let the blood out of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I believe those are called channels. Ch- I- they're channels. <laughs> channels, right. They're Blood tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, what you, you don't, the reason I know the word channel and swords and things like that is because I read Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. You don't read those or watch that no. show. Correct. How does that feel, living your life like that? I don't. Um, Are you going to watch it when you're like 52? You're like, oh, I guess I'll watch that. Like, I'm currently watching Cheers. Maybe. Cheers is great. Cheers is great. I love Cheers. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I you don't, You're not missing anything. It's good, but you're not missing anything. It's not like a cultural... Touchstone? It might be. Who knows? Maybe. I feel like it's not. Hindsight's 2020. I... <laughs> I sort of feel like uh, it's great. Don't get me wrong. What what was the last cultural touchstone? I don't know, dude. I mean, I was looking at pictures on BuzzFeed. You were too. Pictures on BuzzFeed. Like 50 craziest pictures of the 2000s. It was like Ja Rule and Nelly posing in front of an iMac. Yeah. Like a blue iMac. At like a Sidekick 3 convention or something. So it was like, what's a touchstone anymore? I don't know. I have no idea. Is it Von Dutch t-shirts? Is it Ashton Kutcher and his like trucker fucking hats. trucker hats? Fuck, I don't know. Remember trucker hats? Yeah, of course. I had I had a Bam Margera trucker hat. Oh, with a heartogram. Yeah, I had a heartogram. I was at a fucking like Dave and Buster's, and some girl came up to me and complimented me. Hey, nice hat. So thanks. Fuck you. I don't like him. I like Bam Margera. H I M. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> so I don't know what a touch on his name because everything was goofy and stupid now. Everything has always been goofy and stupid. Well, the thing, yeah, the things that are currently cool are gonna be goofy and stupid in five years. So what's a touchstone? Nothing. Nothing's a touchstone. I've never seen this, but Breaking Bad is maybe a touchstone. That it, was a big deal. I, every, right? Yeah, it's a big deal. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, freak, dude. I've seen like five movies in the theaters in the last ten years. So I don't know. I don't know anything about anything. I'm watching Cheers for God's sakes on Netflix. It's so good. It's really good. Who's so you, I'm gonna say who's Cheers. Your, who's your favorite character? On I'm Cheers? only in the first season. Sure. That's all. I mean, the first I episode. Like Coach. I like Coach. The a first lot. episode. Ooh, you're you start off with a you're band. in for yeah. uh, bad news. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> well, you've got you have to have known that. I don't right? know anything. I know he has a spinoff show, maybe. No. Well, there was a spinoff show called Coach. That is that is Craig T. Nelson. That it's is not, not Coach. No. Does Coach die? Does the actor playing Coach die? Yeah, that's why Woody Harrelson comes on to play the character no. Woody because Coach fucking dies. Like in real life, it's not. Yeah. Like a freak, dude. When is that? Like season one, episode like eight. Like. Uh, it's you know maybe three, two, three. Like just enough to like. Like oh, I love Coach. Coach is great. Right, right. Well, well, that's too bad. Freak, man, that sucks. Yeah. I mean, Woody Harrelson's great, and I'm, it's, I'm sure. You know what's really funny? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jessica, the, the official, official girlfriend, girlfriend of Dilettante Ball, had had never. Well, I guess you haven't either. She's never seen Woody Harrelson in a comedic role. So she only thinks of him as like, oh, he's like yeah, a, he's in True Detective and, right, and like, like and like man. these, yeah. So sure. he's only in serious roles. So she hasn't seen like 
Kingpin. Oh, Kingpin's so good. Yeah, or 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 Cheers, where he's, he's like a, he's he... like a, just a lovable goofball. Right, he's in Zombieland. He's a, he's a he's he's comedic role in Zombieland. Yeah, yeah, that's I true. I mean, comedic enough, but, uh, but still but, a hard guy. But in general, she she that's interesting. She had no idea that he was ever. A, she's never seen White Men Can't Jump. Right, that'd be like if you like. Oh yeah, I, I love Robin Williams. Like such a good serious actor. He was really great in um one hour photo. <laughs> right, and Good Will Hunting. Like really, uh, probably the greatest serious actor of our time. You know what my favorite movie is? Ugh. The number 23 with Jim Carrey. Right. But you know what? Close second, The Majestic. And maybe on, like, if I'm getting frisky, The Truman Show. I'll tell you, The Truman Show's fucking dope. Yeah, it is for sure. Yeah. And and Philip Glass does the soundtrack, which is fantastic. There you go. There you go. Uh, and Ed, Ed Smith is in it. Who's Ed Smith? You know, Ed Smith of Chicago PD fame. No. You know, Ed, here's, Ed Smith is probably the most famous one of those guys sure those guys being like oh that guy he's in that you know ed smith have you seen uh the the rock i believe with uh, nicholas cage uh, and yeah Sean you Connery? could you were uh i can smell what the rock is cooking i've seen him wrestle yeah he's seen him wrestle right well there's a movie called the rock where it's basically nicholas cage and sean connery oh scorpion king <laughs> yeah. right and yeah, they go to scorpion ancient king. egypt and right basically they're breaking in alcatraz and ed smith or ed harris i'm sorry not ed smith who's ed smith I don't know. He ain't no Ed Harris. Ed Harris. That name sounds very familiar. <laughs> it's actually familiar. Well, Ed Harris is the main bad guy in The Rock. Ed Harris is Stone Cold Steve Austin. He is. The, oh, yeah. what? Fuck. I, now I want to. Ed Harris. That I'm, I'm like, okay, I know. He's yeah. in like a ton of movies. Here's a crazy thing. Well, Ed Harris is the, the guy in Truman Show who's like the producer. Who wears like the backwards Kangol. Like he's LL Cool J or something. I, I barely remember. All right. All right. Uh, I want to do. This is what I want to do. What do you want to do? I want to do voice work for cartoons. Okay. Because every cartoon you've ever seen in your life. It's voiced by the same two people. It's seriously, there's, it's Billy there's, West. Like, there's like three dudes yeah. and three ladies yeah. and they do every cartoon voice ever. Yeah. I would just watch an episode of the Clone Wars where there was like a kid and I was like, oh, that kid's voice is the same voice I've been hearing as kids' voices since I was a kid. Oh, that's Phil and Lil R- from Rugrats. Yeah, exactly. Exactly who it is. You know Hondo from the Clone Wars? No. The pirate? The dope yes. pirate? Yes. Darkwing Duck? <laughs> Winnie the Pooh? No. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. You know Porky Pig? Yeah. That's that's well, Fry. And oh, every other... sure. Right. It's Billy well, West who does everything. Well, back in the day, Porky sure. Pig was, I oh, assume, was, Mel Blanc. It, Mel Blanc did like, all those voices. Every single... Mel Blanc is the OG Billy West. For real. Yeah. It's weird that everyone... Maybe it was that... Um, Mel Blanc was really bad at voices, so he's like, look, I'm just going to give all these characters speech impediments, and each one's a different speech impediment, you know? <laughs> like, Porky Pig, all right, cool, he'll stutter, um, Daffy will have that lisp thing, you know, like... Billy West is basically like, oh, the the real guy can't do this anymore? Let's get Billy West. Yeah. Like when Like, like, when they have a real actor doing something, right. and then he... The, the real actor does the movie... Billy West will come in and do the animated series. Exactly. Because we yeah. can't pay him enough. I, 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 yeah, right, right. And then Billy West just fucking nails it. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's the greatest. He's the greatest voice. You know who did the voice of uh, Genie on Aladdin, the animated series? The animated series. No, I, it's, was it Robin Williams? No. Okay. <laughs> Dan Castellaneta. D- uh, the guy who does Homer? Yeah. That's crazy. Right? He also did the voice in Return of Jafar. Robin Williams <laughs> came back for Aladdin and the Prince of Thieves. Oh, King he was Thieves? Prince of Thieves. So he was hurting for money. Wait, that was the direct DVD, excuse me, direct VHS sequel to Return of Jafar. Return of Jafar. Okay. So Return of Jafar is better. <laughs> sure, it must be. <laughs> so Robin Williams did the movie. He said, "Nah, I'm not gonna do the sequel." Well, the whole fucking thing when he did the movie was like, "Don't make this a big deal that I'm doing this." Did he? Was he like that? I'm pretty sure. And then they're like, "Robin Williams oh, in no. in Aladdin," and he's like, "No, that was like don't the draw fucking of the film. do that." Like Jonathan and Taylor Thomas as so Simba. They, so they had like a falling out. Wow. JTT. <laughs> right, right, right. I just saw him in uh, Wild America, and I'm loving it. Oh, Wild America! I loved him in Pinocchio. <laughs> What's the, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised they call that Pinocchio. How long is it gonna take before they do Geppetto? And have like a film they from him. Did that already? No way, dog. We've talked about it on this podcast. Geppetto? Drew Carey plays Geppetto. <laughs> of course he does. Of course he does. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so they did it. They they done did it. How long? Negative fifteen years. It's, it's it was in like the an books. ABC made for TV movie. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it was. Freak. That's awesome. How's the new uh, Who's Lines It Anyway? You ever seen that? I saw like the first two episodes. You hated it, I bet. Yeah. Who hosted it? Ashanti. Yeah, Ashanti. Is it, is it? It's Aisha Tyler. Aisha Tyler. 
She's a rapper, a rap s comedian. She's a comedian. I know that name. She does. She does the voice of um. What's her face on Archer? Lana. Yes. Okay. Okay. And she is like a comedian, and I feel like she hosted a few things on E. Maybe. Okay, I can see that. Sure. Uh, Wild on. No, that was Brooke Burke. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and, but she's not funny. Would, would you ever? Would you ever go to any of those destinations? Yeah. Like, would you? Could, how crazy is it that Daytona Beach is like Spring Break Central? Oh, sure. And we were like living there, like, okay. Daytona Beach is gross. It's really gross. Well, because it did all these wild on specials and everyone came, and you know, Daytona used to be so nice before TV. Uh, Jessica was w- telling me about a, a German book that she had because she was in, she took German in school. Sure. And she was the German club president. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to brag, but. She, she, so, and it was, there was one chapter where. It, no, no, no. It was it was a it was an English textbook in German for like German kids to learn English. Sure. So makes... the teacher brought it in. Sure. And it was talking about like American culture and like what teens do in America. Like pizza. Or... And and it, there was a spring break. There, there was like a thing about spring break, and it was like four American dudes. kids all go to Daytona. It was like in Daytona Beach, and it was four four dudes in like a jeep with the top down, no shirts on, like driving on the on the sand. That's awesome. Like dead sea turtle under the yeah. wheel. <laughs> Was it a real picture or was it a yeah, an illustration? It was, it was like a photograph. Oh, man. From like 1986? Sure, sure. Man, that's awesome. Imagine how fly those guys look too. Freak. Everyone in 1986 was like ripped. I saw a video and it was, it was just footage of, I think oh, you saw it too, right? I love that video. It was just a guy who had like a home videotape or video recorder. It was in like 1991 No, or it was like 86, was I think. It? it was like 86 for real. And he, he happens to be from Florida. He happens to be living uh, in Kissimmee. And he goes to a Seven Eleven, like right outside Disney World. Yeah, and he's just filming people at like two thirty in the morning, and it's before anyone knows. It's like a special event, so everyone that comes in is like very friendly, like, "Oh, cool, you're videotaping!" Like, and it's just a really awesome snapshot of what nineteen eighty six and forty was like. That video is that's one of my favorite things it's I've ever so seen. Great. It's so strange. Yeah, and so like one of the guys that comes in is like, uh, and I don't even I don't even know this because I don't even know anyone who does coke. Like, well, I, I probably know everyone that does coke, but whatever. But apparently, the guy, I went back and watched it after reading some of the comments, and I was like, oh, that's what being on Coke looks like. He's just, like, grinding his teeth and, like, being, like, yeah, this is really funny. Go back and watch it. We'll post it. We'll find the yeah, video. Yeah. Uh, it's, like, a 15-minute video, and it goes by like that. Speaking of videos, we're going we're gonna to take it home on this. Have you seen Avril Lavigne's new music video? I've been avoiding it. Dude. I need to watch it. It's fucking nutty. Like. I haven't watched the Avril Lavigne video since, like, ever. I mean, she was. She's always been complicated. She's always been complicated. She's just a skater girl. It's just. It's. It's. I have no words. It's bonkers. It's. 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 I don't know what she was thinking when she wrote the song. I don't know what she was thinking when she made the video. I don't know what. There were there. There should be so many fail safes along the way for someone <laughs> so famous. Right. To, right. To, to for someone somewhere to say, hey, we should probably P- we put should, the brakes on this should, part. We should not do this. No. No. We're gonna. Okay. We're gonna. Okay. But you know what happened? Now we're talking about it. It's a billion people have seen it, and Avril Lavigne's back in. She's back in. It's she did it. Fucking bonkers. She, that's what it was. You know? Yeah. She and she's married to Chad Kroger of Nickelback. Which, so she's doing fine. She I'll, got that Chad Kroger money. <laughs> it's it, you should watch. We're gonna watch it as soon as we're done recording. Okay. It's 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 nutty, huh? And and a lot of people were like, "Oh, this is Avril Lavigne's trying to do the ne- do the next. We can't stop. She's trying to be the new Miley. No, She's because the- because we can't stop is a masterpiece. Uh, if you say so, it's we can't stop is certainly strange. Totally fabricated. Well, yeah, obviously, but it's I mean, cookie cutter hipster bullshit. But th- this is what I think a hipster is. Which, sure, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> if you want to do that, go for it. But it's 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 man. Yeah. I mean, also what um, happens in it? Just describe it for me. I can't. You can't do it. It's it's like so. The song's called "Hello Kitty," which is already crazy because what the fuck is what Hello is Hello Kitty, Kitty? Right? Can you explain that to me? We've t- we can't. We've talked okay. about that before on no the one podcast knows. too. It's no one knows. I mean, I literally I don't. It's a know. character for the sake of consumerism, right? I mean, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's like Lisa Frank, right? It's crazier than that. It's crazier. Crazier than like. Acid tripping Labrador puppies kissing dolphins. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So On my school lunchbox, it's but okay. Ju- it's just it's just Avril in Japan. Okay. With a bunch of Japanese people. Sure. 
She's going fucking she's bonkers. <laughs> she's going for it, huh? She, what's she wearing? She, I mean, like a fucking like tutus and and cra- just crazy shit. Okay. It's so it's not, like the Nicki Minaj sort of like crazy. No, but no, it's crazier. Nicki Minaj is totally she's normal. Got, she's like, I've got an aesthetic and this is what I'm doing, sure. and and I'm not an insane person. Sure. Avril Lavigne is like, I'm married to Chad Kroger. And <laughs> I got nothing else to live for. My hero can save me. <laughs> uh, hi. <laughs> That wasn't it's Nickelback. Crack- that was Chad Kroger of Nickelback. It's doing another doing a that, cover of doing no 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 Master of Puppets. No, that was the song for Spider Man Two. And they say that a hero could save me. I'm not gonna stand here and wait. See the song I remember from Spider Man Two. I hold on to the wings of an eagle and watch as they all fly away. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Vindicated, I am selfish, I am I'm wrong. wrong, I am right, I swear I'm right, swear I knew it all along, and I am flawed, but I am cleaning up so well. This has been a Peach and Hot Sauce presentation. Peaches. Hot Sauce. Peaches. Hot Sauce. Peaches, hot sauce, got your peaches, got your hot sauce, give it